What is Ethernet PowerLink? It is a digital motion bus with high-speed digital Ethernet, replacing analog plus or minus 10 volt command signals. The EPL controller is sending deterministic commands for the position, velocity, and acceleration to the drives, and reading back the actual position, velocity, and excels. This is different from field buses like DeviceNet, Ethernet IP, Profibus, or CanOpen, which are for large amounts of I.O., typically used in PLCs. Ethernet PowerLink is an actual motion bus, not just scanning inputs and outputs, and allows for multi-axis synchronization with standard Ethernet hardware. Let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison of an analog system and EPL. On the left is a traditional analog output controller with screw terminal breakouts connecting to an analog servo amplifier. You need an enable output, fault input, plus or minus 10 volt analog command signal, and encoder position feedback. That's at least 8 wires per axis. There's two different vendors' products, so you need to make your own cable or find someone to make it for you. The longer these cables are, the more expensive they are. Plus, what about signal integrity? It's an analog command signal, so you can't run the cable too long before signal losses, and you don't want to route it next to any high-power cables with transients, such as motor power cables. And what about RF grounding for the shield? Should they be connected at the controller or the amplifier or both? To the ground pin or to the connectors? That's the installation. For the customer buying the machine, each wire is a potential source of failure. Troubleshooting can take several hours or days if it's an intermittent problem. You can see it's not as straightforward as the EPL solution. A standard Cat5 Ethernet cable can be used. The ACR EPL controller auto-detects if the cable is a straight-through or crossover, sometimes called a patch cable. The EPL solution saves not only installation time for the control panel, but with Ethernet digital technology, including isolation and collision detection, virtually eliminates noise troubleshooting. Cat5 cables are much more cost-effective than servo cables, even more so at longer lengths. Ethernet PowerLink is an open standard. No single company owns or dominates the technology. Parker is one of numerous companies using Ethernet PowerLink. Development and standardization is driven by the Open Vendors and Users Association. All members can influence further development with the EPSG's working groups. EPL was originally developed by BNR in Germany. They opened the protocol in 2003 with enough room for differentiation. There's free from patent and IP issues, there's no licensing fees, no supply issues with any proprietary ASICs or chipsets, and it's scalable for the future for gig -E technology. Interoperability between different vendors has been showcased at trade shows such as PAC Expo, and over 500,000 nodes have been installed to date. EPL is a motion bus. The controller has the motion program. As it's running, it's doing trajectory calculations and can be synchronizing several axes or sets of axes. It's monitoring I.O. from onboard, CAN bus, and drive I.O. It is the managing node and sends to the EPL axes commanded position, velocity, and digital outputs. From the drives, which are the controlled nodes, it's getting back actual position, velocity, input status, following error, torque, dry fault, and axis status. This arrangement offloads controller processing requirements and leverages the digital amplifier's processor, allowing the EPL axes to close torque, velocity, and position servo loops closest to the motor for increased throughput and easier tuning. With EPL, you get less than 500 microsecond cycle times and less than one microsecond of jitter, up to 100 meters between the devices. Standard shielded Cat5e cables can be used. Plug and play operation. No network programming needs to be done. No specialized hardware, routers, or switches. Drives and controllers utilize built in repeating hubs. Controller to axis cables can be set in any network topology, such as star, daisy chain, or tree. IO devices can be mounted next to the sensors and valves, while drives can be local to the axes being controlled. This inherently allows designs to follow both centralized and decentralized modular approaches.